What up, peeps? So, uh, going to the next chapter here. Uh, doing the legendary EQ um, with the Rhino Boss and the Mutant Pads. I am digging into my six star roster. I mean, it's cream of the crop. Let's do it. Um, so, if I'm running mutants, it's got to be Cable and APOC. K pop. Um, they're just so good. So good. And a ton of fun. Um, White Magneto, too. If you're going to take a three, I think if you take a three person team with Cable and APOC, um, Magneto's got to be the best for the third slot, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I do like taking Sinister, man. Uh, he's bad. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it, like, I do like a lot of his kit, um, but he needs, he needs an update, bad, damage, oh, his damage is awful, uh, but he's got the power lock synergy, you know, he's got, I mean, his kit is good, you know, he could throw uh, DOT back on you and like 100% concussion on the level 2, I think it's 10 seconds, 12 seconds, maybe 8, uh, then level 3, same thing, 100% concussion, uh, and that was for like, the same duration of time as the level two, I think it's a little longer. Uh, but, oh, his damage is terrible. Anyway, I like bringing him uh, because, man, 25% armor or 25% power gain or 25 25% attack, uh, all big. I mean, even the armor, I mean, yeah, it's the worst of the three, uh, but man, it's still good. Anyway, he's awful. So, Mag White Magneto is really good, that's the thing. like. Not only is, does he uh, help Cable and APOC both, but uh, man, he's good on his own. And he's bleeding it, which is nice. Um, yeah. And that metal, you know, uh, mag magnet. Awesome. Um, but uh, we're gonna get into it here in a second. Uh, for the Rhino Boss, he had a st he's got unstoppable and other stuff. Oh, spiked armor and She-Hulk and Mr. Fantastic don't crit a whole lot, especially She-Hulk. Oh, it's bad. But uh, so who else? Uh, what else? Uh, he's got something else too. Oh, uh, running on fumes. That's right. So She-Hulk, you know, you're gonna stack weakness if she just, you know, say 200. Let's do it. You know, she just purifies all those debuffs. It's awesome. I mean, it's even even at SIG 20, you know, I think it's 40% at SIG 20 for She-Hulk, which is in a 5k combo. I mean, you're gonna purify the buff, like you are. Um, but yeah, like SIG 200 though, 70%, dang, it's good stuff. Uh, there's times though, when I just, ugh. maybe they put a synergy in later, but like, I wish they would, you know, I mean, wishing is a stretch. <clears throat> wishing is a stretch because it's already so good, but there's times when I want to expand it to other classes, you know, purify, I guess, I don't know, I can't even think of one example, but like cosmic, obviously skill would be too much, it's counter class, that's fine, but like other classes, mutant, you know, um, be nice. Don't need it first, Mystics, to be honest. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so. Cable Apoc, all rank three. White Magneto, too. White Magneto, see, like this right here. Cable and Apoc versus Emma. Oh, sucks. It's just not a fun fight. Um, no armor break. You gotta break that armor. You need, like, gla glass or whatever she's made of. Frost. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gotta break it, you know? And they can't. I mean, Cable, I guess, the, I mean, theoretically you can degen her, but, or, you know, getting that, landing that heavy, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't play her enough with Cable to, I don't even try, honestly. But I think, you know, theoretically it works, you just have to get that heavy in there. Uh, but her heavy's like stunted, and it's, you know, quick enough to where, I don't, it's, you have to dex, and, to, and then to retaliate like a heavy, you know, but I think hers is just quick enough to where you can't really do that with a lot of champs. Um, I'm just spitballing here if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I uh, played the demo. 
My hammer is a max five star, but I mean, uh, I've been over Emma. Like, I like her, I do, but not enough to play her and or and or want her six star. Um, but yeah, Cable digging in. I'm not even a horseman. He's just taking the bleed like nothing. Oh, I guess that's for the, <laughs> the EQ, right? Hope so. What? Oh. <laughs> he just falls out. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but uh, why Magneto, man? He's good, he really is. Um, I don't really use him much. I mean, there's, you know, I don't use, you know, you guys see it. I mean, Mr. Fantastic, She-Hulk, Nimrod, and more. I mean, other teams, rarely. Maybe one other champ, you know, but it's usually a combination of those. Um, so like, I don't, you know, it's not, I just, for war, it's them, and then outside, it's just, I just pretty much stick with the setup for whatever, whatever the EQ paths call for as far as the uh, class, and then whatever class best suits the boss. But, yeah, Cable. I just mess around, you know, stack the poison to try to, uh, he starts, like, removing it. Super fast, I think, is what it is. See, there it is, the champion. Champion with like, so with his uh, unstoppable, you can just hit <clears throat> you can hit into it. You can parry that unstoppable, and you can hit into it like Mangog. If they're unstoppable, you can hit into it with a special, but you can't hit into it with the basic because it's unstoppable. It's a weird unstoppable. I mean. I don't think that I'm really a fan of, I mean, you have to like know the champ to know that, you know, it's kind of annoying. I mean, you see Unstoppable on any champ, you're like, oh, they have Unstoppable, but mm, that was like selective. Namor, I have him uh, rank three, 200. Never, ever use him. I mean, he, he's got that, I mean, you know, you could say the majority of champs are probably niche now, you know, as far as use. It's like, oh, well, they're really good for this part of war or whatever, defend, defender or other, you know. But uh, he's definitely that. He is exceptionally niche. You know, he's, but he is really, really good at what you need him for. Like, oh, Electus, you know, 200k Electro, uh, you know, something like that. Like, he can just hit into him and like, he's fine, <laughs> 100% okay. Um, but yeah, it's, his, his ability's weird. Uh, and he's one of those champs like, yeah, he's top mutant prestige, but you also, you need him at 200 because you need that 100%. Uh, reversal of damage on attack. And it takes sick 200 to get to 100%. This thing. Oh, that thing's so long. Boom. He's got the pyramid around him when he's blocking. It is cool. Hieroglyphs when it actually makes contact. It's good. Animations in this game, I mean, that's, you know, largely why we play it. I mean, they are awesome, right? I mean, always gorgeous animations. Almost every champ. I can't really think of a champ that I'm like, man, ugh. Even if I don't like the champ, you know, they still look good. If I come across one more like, oh, yeah, 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 man, his are kind of derpy, like, you know, yeah, I would say the ant mans if any, are bad, it's him. Always with the wake-ups, you know, I watch these tiger players, 
Um, Tiger's awesome. I just duped her, actually, from uh, cast, casting crew crystals. Uh, du duped her six stars, pretty awesome. Because I was, uh, she was on the table for uh, Awakening with that Romance Awakening gem. But I was going back and forth between Rogue and her, and, and still saving the door. And, uh, yeah. It was gonna, it's might, it might still be Rogue, but if I need her at rank 3 or anything, I'll probably do it, but just don't need her. That 5 star, she's where the 5 stars were, like, she is at 6200, and it is nice, you know, it's, it rounds her kit out well when she's, uh, at max sig, I think it's 40% on level 2 power drain and level 1 lifesteal. Pretty good. But yeah, I duped Tiger, so like, that's awesome. You know, dupe her and Sig 20, go out to use a gem. She's off the table, awesome. Um, but I took Sorceress up instead of her, um, as far as Mystic. I need to take a Mutant up, and I don't want to take Magneto. I don't want to take, uh, who's my other way to? Gambit and um, Colossus. I think those are my three rank two mutants, and the rest are either rank one or rank three. Um, and a lot of them are on dupe, but it doesn't really matter because even the ones that are on dupe, it uh, doesn't even matter if they're dupe because I'm not going to rank them anyway. Um, I want to rank Jubilee, but she's not duped. And, um, mm, she needs to dupe, I think. You know, reading her kit, like, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's like consistent damage. It's like they purify on a, whenever they purify, she does damage. Like, so great against basically all skill. It just adds another consistent layer of damage. <clears throat> and, that, and also when uh, hers, like, I don't know, some other debuffs, that, her personal debuffs maybe or something, not any debuff, uh, when, when they expire, um, or not get purified, but expire. The other one's purified, if I, yeah. Like, either way, both of those scenarios, both of those scenarios happen, um, they, they, they take damage. And that's uh, her signature, so. But anyway, here we go, so She-Hulk, uh, just digging in here. And you, you know what time it is. Get these heavies, so let's do it. Let's go to work. Oh. Got like so much going on. Ten Furies collectively. Boom! Where are the heavies? Oh, that's where you drop that stack. I mean, I guess I should start, start leaving the power rate off, you know, the combat power rate. And you know, it makes me wonder, you know, maybe I take Stupefy off. I mean, I got two, not Stupefy, Petrify, I'm sorry. Um, Stupefy is maxed, but like, Petrify, you know, it reduces the, the combat power rate and regen during stuns. So while they're stunned, you get what, two hits in, you get one of those a medium, um, which, you know, that matters if you have a max, man, 30%. But anyways, 20% now, still like, but I wonder about that. Um, Cause it's great for like, like I said, Thor and Jane, um, a couple other, I mean, even like Hercules, I use him in AQ and he's, uh, he stuns on the level two and it's a pretty long stun, you know, and having that superfly there to where you can just bash without, you know, sending him red, it's nice. But and it, I think for most champs it is good, but for She-Hulk, I mean, it's good, but you also, you know, it slows down her, uh, their combat power rate, meaning you can't bait their specials as frequently, because they don't have them. Um, but yeah, so, look at this. Uh, just reckless. Cable. Man, he is such a beast. Ridiculous. I mean, I prefer to use him as awesome as APOC is, um, and he is awesome. I like to use Cable more often, but I usually, you know, when I'm questing, it's 
Apocalypse to Ramp, um, Horseman. I I don't think I eat. I don't typically Horseman Cable. I don't think. I mean, this one probably because I don't know. Maybe I scouted the path and I was like, well, I'm gonna need Apoc for that fight because you know if they purify like crazy, like Kingpin, like Cable, meh, they can be annoying. So you you know you use even White Magneto is great against Kingpin. But Apoc, you know, can't purify any of that. He just gets wrecked. But Apoc uh, is not fun to use with one genetic code. I mean, it's still alright, but it's, it just takes so long. Yeah, don't want to armor break Dragon Man. Magneto's still great against them, but don't use the level 1. White Magneto, anyway. Red Magneto, what's his level 2 is armor break? Is that what it is? Right in the face. I do like Dragon Man, though. He's fun. You uh, knock him down with heavies and then wake up intercept with uh, unblockable. He can do it. I'm sure some of it's unsafe. I haven't figured out which champs yet, because I mean, it works against everyone. For the most part, I think I've gotten smacked a few times doing a knockdown wake up intercept. Um, but it wasn't frequently enough to, you know, make that determination that, yep, they do that. Like, I mean, the obvious ones, Ben on the Duck, uh, Guillotine 2099, Guillotine 2099. Um, there's one other one lately, but I can't think of who it is. Yeah, I just started getting wrecked here, didn't I? <laughs> that level 1 is his bread and butter, and you can't use it against Dragon Man. It's weird, like, I don't know, maybe like this mag magnet count again with that? Like, so if you armor break him, like, is there a chance that because he's magnetized that it won't de degenerate you? Like, maybe. I don't know that I've tried that, but maybe that's factored in. If anyone knows, put it in the comments. And then he just stops the power game. Yeah, what's the name? Uh... I was messing around with Tiger. Oh, let me circle back to her. So I was messing around with Tiger the, uh, today, yesterday, and uh, her neutralize, it gets rid of Dragon Man's power gain, and the power gain doesn't come back ever for the rest of the fight. Um, I don't know if you have to do it a few times or if it's just consistently the first neutralize. I, I mean, I fought him like a couple times, but I didn't really not, you know, I didn't do it. I mean, it seems like it's just when that first neutralize gets rid of any power gain buff because he's got the one to start so then you just you know start comboing into him and then uh you just neutralize when that next power gain of his comes around and it doesn't come around and that was it there was no more or maybe it's because i was just you know with tiger you just keep him neutralized basically the whole fight if you're playing her correctly um but, uh yeah, with the arm pin him um Tiger, man, she is something. She's really good. She's definitely really a really good champion. Um, I didn't pay really any attention to her at all, but there's some issues with her and her mechanics, like bugs, like one where she hits on block, like against, I think it works against anyone, but uh, it was definitely, uh, against Silver Surfer's block. That seemed kind of frequent. Um, a couple others. Um, but like, it's like, it's like a bug where they double parry you, re-parry, but it's not, they don't even, yeah, it's, it's not though. It's quicker than a, than you can possibly re-parry. Um, it's like you're hitting their block super fast with no, no hiccups in between for them, you know, for you or the AI to be able to unblock and then reblock, i.e. repair. Um, it's just like 
consecutive hits and it, you just get stunned. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I don't think, I mean, Kip Ammo will fix it. It's easy to recreate too. Like, you know, I'm sure I didn't even, be, you know, some of my lines were like, oh yeah, it's a double, it's a double medium champion issue. Like if double cha uh, champions with a double medium attack, hitting on block um, against a variety of champs, uh, presumably everyone, I don't know, um, they just get stunned. It's not every time, you know, but it's it's often enough to like you can't do it. You, you know, it's like single medium dashing in, dashing in against block is fine, but you can't follow up after that with lights or anything. Um, I was doing it against my surfer, and it was like, <laughs> what is happening here? Um, but yeah, Tiger's awesome. You know that her play style, like. She can definitely, I mean, it all, it's all based around the heavies, you know, a lot of it is. Heavies, uh, out of miss from holding, you know, charging heavy when you, when they, against any projectile attack, um, sit there and charge heavy and then I guess it, uh, her, her ability allows you to let off of heavy with like 0.1 second. Um, of phase, if you will, um, where you're still like in phase, so you can catch the tail end of their special and phase through it, and then still hit them with your uh, heavy. You just gotta time it, it's all about timing. But yeah, it's, she's really good, really good. The unblockable specials, both of them, that's, oh man, that's serious. I mean, she just comes with it, you know? I mean, you got Ghost who has, he needs a synergy for that. Um, you've got, a, you know, you got Chance with Unblockable, but it usually like Silver Surfer, his is on level two. So you have to get to a level two and you have to have three, uh, three buffs or more. So there's, you know, there's contingencies. Um, but, uh, and who else? Like Corvus has an Unblockable level two, but you have to get to level two and it's only level two. Um, and what else, uh, a lot of champs have unblockable specials, one or the other, uh, but requires a synergy, um, like Hercules, he needs Black Panther, he gets unblockable specials, awesome, awesome, but it takes a synergy to get there, um, who else, there's a lot, there's so many out there now, um, but my point is, Tiger doesn't need it. She doesn't need that. And she it's both specials. It's not even just one, you know? It's both specials, unblockable. Dash back, phew, unblockable. And it's even better than that because you dash back, you get the, it, it's it's based on your distance away from the opponent. So if you're, you know, once you dash back and you're far away, um, even if they dash in, uh, it's, it's distance from the opponent at any time during the special. So, you know, if, if, they dash in and follow, you're not unblockable, but you're, you still have to finish this long lunging special. And any time they don't follow you, she jumps back a few times in both specials. So you're always, you're going to be away from them, guaranteed at some point throughout that special. And at that point, whenever that happens, she will be unblockable for the next hit. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So it's like guaranteed unblockable with unblockable follow-up. So it's just guaranteed. And just, yeah, working this man down, working him down. Abuse. Uh, one of these, uh, one of these paths, I do get wrecked. I mean, it's close. I beat him, it is close. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I don't know what happens. He probably gets like an unblockable on me or I miss a parry or something. Here I am rambling about other champs, but I mean, it's a long video, you know, I mean, just battling on, you know, ramble. Um, but yeah, Tiger, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to start practicing with her. She is awesome, especially for this moment. I mean, she's good for a lot of stuff with that kid. I mean, 
no immunities, but you know, with, she makes up with the, with, the, with the rest of with the rest of her kit. You know, unblockable specials on both and throughout the special, miss on specials, projectile specials um, with the heavy. Yeah, awesome. And the neutralize, it's like permanent stagger, but even better because they never get the buff to begin with. You know, stagger, it appears and then it's staggered. So it's a, you know, briefly appears, counts towards MD, um, goes away. Uh, neutralize, I don't think it ever even shows up. You know, you, the buff never appears, which means no MD, which is good for the way she works, you know, I mean, plus, I think that if it did trigger MD, she'd be way OP. You could literally do specials the entire fight. Like, chain and chain and chain and chain and chain and chain. Like, without any downtime. <laughs> uh, I mean, it would be absurd. So, I get it. But yeah, the neutralize is better, you know? Uh, and I would say most situations. At the very least, a lot of them. Uh, this is that... I mean, he doesn't need him. I was trying to evade out of that, Dex out of the beam, him and the blue side box. Just, and every time, like, once you're getting, once you're blocking that beam, you cannot Dex it out of it. Like, you have to Dex the whole thing. I mean, maybe you can, but I don't think you can, because I try every time, like, I'm getting hit by this dumb beam, by dumb Cyclops again, and, uh, I block, 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 and I try to Dex out, and I get hit every time. And I do it every time to try to do it, and it never works. Just wait. Ready for the success. That was Sam Wilson. Came on the screen. Um, yeah, I want him. He's gonna be good. He is good. Yeah, but I just ranked Sorceress. Um, Tiger's awesome, but she, she had to go from rank one to three. Oh, that's a lot of T5 basic. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> and Sorceress is also, if, well, also, I, I mean, honestly, like, that was who I liked the most for this global. Uh, and Claire, I mean, Claire, you know, there's an argument for all three, to be honest. All three have merit, for sure. Um, and I'm sure, yeah, some are better than others in certain situations so far. I know it's early, but you can kind of tell. Uh, Kabam wants us to use Mystics this season. I mean, it's just kind of, it seems like that's what they're pushing for. And just the way they gear the nodes and the, uh, the uh, global, it's, it's encouraging the use of Mystics. Has to be. Because, um, I mean, yeah, they all can work. They work well, but there's some that just shine because they, you know, to get rid of the armor up, which is going to proc that 30% chance for unstoppable, and you got to assume that's going to happen. Cage with this long indestructible. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know, like some of these champs in war are bad. So it's like, you know, they're just bad defenders because they're bad defenders, you know, they're specials. There's nothing tricky about them, like, you know, Red Skull, I mean, he has a ton of armor up, so it's just like, for the global, I guess he, because he starts with, what, four or five, he is guaranteed unstoppable to start the fight. Um, but I think once that duration wears off, those armor ups have had their chance. Um, for unstoppable so if you know once it procs then it's only additional ones that get that proc chance you know that 30 percent chance so anytime that he reaches a power bar threshold and then also the global okay so you get someone with slow um or nullify all those buffs um and just consistently nullify them i mean he's solved because his <laughs> His specials are rid ridiculously easy to evade. The level one is slow. Level two, um, yeah, it can be, it can catch you. Like I guess on, a, on, a, on an unblockable node, where like he tosses the 
electricity at you. Shock. Um, that does look cool though. His uh, Red Skull's level two. It's it's awesome. Um, and then obviously you know you're gonna get shocked, but but yeah, I mean you don't push the level two. I mean he's just easy. You know, same with Champion. Like Champion, he's just bad. He's, he's just bad. Scroll. He seems like to be bleed immune because he's got thing arms. You know, so you're like. I mean, for the longest time, I was like, yeah, he's, he's bleed immune, right? No, shock immune. Okay, that makes sense. Incinerate immune. Yeah, also makes sense, you know? And I guess if you gave bleed immune, it'd be, it'd be too much. I mean, he'll get, a, he'll get a, an update, I'd imagine. Like, they need to make his rotation less narrow. You know, it's so surgical the way it is. Like... It's so specific. <laughs> oh, fatality. So yeah, he was on the ground. Launched that level two into him. Um, no, his 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 rotation is so narrow. It's like focus. You have to. There's a small small window. I mean, it's satisfying and it's fun. Like that level two. Um, you know, but you want to try to get so energy vulnerability debuff uh, is up on him. I think that's when you falter. You know, you activate your, the falter, let them basically hit your block or hit into you because they'll get faltered and then launch the level two. But you need to do it like, yeah, there's just a narrow window. Uh, and it just does, there's no need for it to be that narrow. That's the thing. Like, I mean, I maybe like, Maybe it's like, okay, so we launched the level two, and if it, if it was easier, then you could go right into Noah Fists, which is ridiculous. I mean, is that what they were thinking? Like, oh, well, we gotta retard this throttle a bit. Like, that's gonna be too much. I mean, I don't know, because I mean, the Nova Fists are badass, and that level two roasts. If you hit it with that level two, and that and the energy of vulnerability debuff is on, man, it does hurt. It definitely hurts. Um, and it's fast, so like, I don't know, maybe you could cycle those, probably, I haven't tried it, I mean, if you could cycle them, like, who cares what buffs are up, because I think, I can't remember how it is, I haven't played them in a minute, but I, I don't ever have time for incursions, but I do, when I go into incursions, uh, scroll, I pretty much take him every time, if I'm being honest, Sorry, being honest. Did you say that again? Sorry. Siri, getting on my business. Yeah, like, I pretty much take him every time. I want to do incursions more, but man, it takes time. I mean, I do whatever, you know, it's good that you do whatever for some days, but I really, what I do wish they would add is a, uh, <coughs> a lobby. A lobby that, uh, is just persists. So you don't both have to be on at the same time. So you have a lobby and I join, uh, the other person joins when they can, you know, at any time. And then you lock your players in and then they go, whoever is initiated it, you know? Because there's so, it's like, it's even hard to get uh, sync up, you know, on a perfect time, you know? But once you start, you know, it's, yeah, sure. You got, you know, what, four days, five days to finish it, and you could just, you know, room by room, that's all it works, but I mean, just even getting started, that would be a huge help. Yeah, she hope but then work. But yeah, I think that that's what the next step is for, uh, for incursions. We need to get there. Let's do it, Kabam. Hydrate, you know? Mouth getting dry. Cable shredding. What else? A lot of rambling going on, huh? I try to get <laughs> it's dumb. Like, I actually try to get all those poisons on me so I can get cables uh uh, attack increase, but he ends up killing him before that. Like, I mean, if you look at that, 13 D, D generations, like, he's just done. He can't do anything. He's like, I can't do anything. I'm gonna die. 
just just melt it. I mean, it is silly. I say it a lot, but man, the cable was so bad. I remember grinding for him as a four star featured. Oh, cable, awesome. Oh, he's so bad. I mean, yeah, the region and the power gain, but the power gain is like, okay, cool, power gain, but uh, I guess at one point his special, his special one has never been acceptable. It's always been terrible. Probably the worst special in the game in terms of damage. I mean, I, I said it does have its use. Cable's level one does have its use um, when you just want to back them up because it's basically safe to throw against their block at any any range, um, pretty much. I think it pushes you back far enough. Maybe you got to be a little far back if you're, uh, you know, you can't be directly cornered with level one and they're blocking, but I think maybe you can. I don't know how I've done it in a minute. But, uh, oh, it's terrible. But at one point, like with the four star, I guess his level two is okay, mediocre at best, mediocre. Uh, but he did have the concussion and has the concussion and the uh, incinerate, you know. But, uh, yeah, he was so bad. Cable was so bad. And then, man, hey, Apocalypse comes out and it's like, wait. What? Degen stack is removed. Uh, no, stack limit. Yeah, that's what it was, the stack limit. It's silly. And you just... Get that horseman, you get that one extra in because when you get pushed away in the corner, if you've got horsemen on, you can sit there and get like another heavy which lines you up for another three heavies because what happens you get pushed away you know, and then you're charging it heavy, but you're essentially going to try to intercept it. But with the horseman, it doesn't matter. You can just press. Yeah, they got it. Oh, I'm going to get a reader. Oh, and then, oh. Oh. Fox goes easy, especially that level one. Just get the level one. Silly. Just melted. I keep thinking like Sauron is a uh, robot for some reason. I don't know. Maybe because like Dragon Man, you know, and he's basically a dragon. <laughs> Pterodactyl. Uh, yeah. So like I... You know, whenever I'm going up to him and EQ, I'm like, oh, he's a robot, right? And I'm like, cable won't work. I'm like, oh, wait, no, he is. And he will. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know. So he gets a block, he gets charges, and just can go unblockable on what? A special? Or, let, yeah, see, like a basic attack? Does it have to be a medium or something? And then right here, like, what are you going to do? Like, full unblockable? What are you supposed to do right there? Like, oh, he's got a special, you're screwed. You know, so I'm like, and that's why I just took Cable and Enforcement. I was like, man, I don't know how this guy is going to work. Like, I think we fought him in war once or twice, like in off season or something. He's weird. Like, I kind of want him. I like weird. And yeah, I don't have a gem in it or anything, but he's going to be in the next feature. Blade. Uh, Pterodactyl, Sauron, uh, who else, Toad, like, Toad, I don't know if I like Toad yet, I mean, I don't know much about him, his animations aren't my favorite, I mean, maybe his basics are good, but his, the tongue thing kind of grosses me out a bit, like, <laughs> I mean, I guess he's a good enough villain, but, I don't know. Um, he's a new champ though, you know, I mean, I, I, I kind of like Jubilee now, and I definitely, like, I don't want to like her, but I do. Like, she was in that 90s cartoon, the X-Men cartoon, and, I mean, her, I don't know, she's just, like, she's nostalgic now for, for me, and I, it, but, like, she was bad back then, and, like, bad now, I mean, but I guess because it's consistent, I'm like, yep, I remember her being just awful as a character, and she still is, but 
it's familiarity. Um, but like fireworks, like what kind of mutant power is that? You know, that's how I feel about it. Feel about it. Like, ooh, I have fireworks. I always saw it like that. Like, what does she do? Like distract people? Uh, but I guess you know, <laughs> she she needs a home too. So, but yeah. So like they bring her to the game, and from from a strictly uh, cool factor standpoint, um, you know, and as like a, abilities as a as a mutant or a Marvel, you know, superhero, fireworks just. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't doesn't seem like it's a superpower. But then again, Domino. I mean, she's lucky, right? I mean, it's not a superpower. <laughs> and that works out well for her, so. Yeah, I think Angela's shrugging these faster, but it doesn't matter. Like she's still taking that burn. Taking that burn. And then cables over here. There, I'll finally get my uh my poison attack increase. Cable, man, and he, I forget about the the regen. Like he does get it, you know. It's not it's ten percent chance, right? Ten percent, forty percent for the power gain, thirty percent. I don't, I don't even remember what the power gain is. I think it's forty percent max sig. Maybe is that what it is? I don't know. Power gain is kind of meh, useless. It gets you to the next level faster, and I would say overall it's better to have that power gain. Um, because like, you know, his specials do create space, and that is that is helpful. It is. See that right there, like, yeah, I mean I Hulk is so slow at that level one, but it like pulls you in. It drives me nuts. I think that's how people get killed by him. I mean that's you know, I gotten killed by him in war and it's always that dumb level one like oh I'm far enough away to like counter with the heavy but you're not it like tagged you and then he's got me tilted and then he just follows up and I don't parry or something or I miss a parry and I'm just done ah, mortal hulk He's a Hulk. I mean, I'm a huge Hulk fan, and this game is no exception. You know, She-Hulk. I've got. I mean, I want Joe fix it. You know, I never pulled him in whatever feature he was in. It was the last one, one before it. Never could pull him. I mean, ah, uh, I mean, I don't really. He's got a lot of stuff going on. I don't know how random it is, um, but I still want him. Um, but yeah, Immortal Hulk, like. He's good. He is. Like, him and Overseer, they have some similar similarities. They both, you know, they both, their damage is in the secondary damage. Um, physical red numbers, right? That what it is? Um, Overseer has the ramp to get there and he's got a mode. Immortal Hulk has it all the time, but it's not quite as potent as Overseer's, but can be, and even more so. But, I mean... You know, Immortal Hulk, they need to... What do they need for him? They need to... to I don't even know. Like, they need to make his, his immortality guaranteed. Uh, but, if, you know, so you can actually utilize him more as an attacker. But if you did that, like, he'd be too OP, right? I mean, you just heal him every fight. He kills himself, but if you know he's coming back, I mean, you can say the same thing for Hercules, right? Like, um, but he needs, like, Immortal Hulk needs to be able to maybe not kill himself as fast, or, um, I mean, I can get behind that. Like, I don't want to say, like, I don't, you know, okay, so maybe he doesn't kill himself at all. Like, okay, like, I, I can get behind it, but then you need to, you know, you've excluded him now from Alliance War permanently. Like, he will, you just can't use him. I mean, you can bring him as a synergy, and like, I guess some people still may use him on attack, but it's just not wise at all. Because his whole game plan is about getting you, um, killing himself, essentially. You know, lowering his own life so he can do more damage. Which requires immortality. Um, but no, he needs, yeah, this is the one where She-Hulk gets, uh, I think I almost died in. 
I don't remember, I think I hit it to his unstoppable, I got lazy, I didn't react the uh, slow or something, or I don't remember. He gets something in. Unblockable, maybe? Or I miss a parry? Oh, the slow wears off. Yeah, see, he's just, oh, I got lucky. He could have just crushed me. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this, this is where I'm like, oh, damn, this has that stupid, uh, I forgot about Counter-Strike altogether. And then, ah, uh, what's happening? Boom. Immortal Hulk needs, uh, he needs to be able to, his rage charges need to last longer. Or he needs to be able to, like, pause them uh, apart from special attacks. Because special attacks from either champion do pause those fist stacks. <laughs> I, I think they're rage stacks. Um, but, yeah, like, they, they, just, they just go way too fast. I mean, it's like medium, if, you know, medium, what, three hit, three lights, a full five hit combo, you can, I think it is, that you can, you know, that's the length of time to re-up each one. So it's like medium, all three lights hit, and then another medium, or then you lose that, the whole stack. Um, it needs to be faster, I mean, I guess, like, it's tough because if you did make him slower to fall off and he could ramp faster and easier, he would absolutely ruin. The Immortal Hulk would do so much damage. But, and that's probably why it's a slippery slope. They're like, well, we got an air on the side of like, well, they really got to work for it. And the AI is going to be really, really um, welcoming with those specials, you know, to keep, keep those specials coming to pause the rage stacks and so you can get mediums in, openings, you know. Um, but that doesn't happen. But he is fun. If you can get him to like... And then also you have to be able to basically parry. Light, yeah. Buys that time. Perfect example of that light, you know, level one. Buys that time. He's like, he's red, but he can't... They may do it sometimes, but if there's a break in that, you know, not a technical block break, but if there's like a break, if you hesitate when you're doing a full combo on block, they can get that level 3 in, then they will. They will go red. I mean, he was already red, but they will activate. Um, so if you keep pounding on their block in a full combo like that, and then into level 1, there's no point in time, there's no downtime of you pressing the screen. Um, so that level one pushes against, you know, it buys time, it distances for that, and, you know, it buys time so that DJ can just finish off. This is the last path. Uh, I haven't talked much about this, I've been rambling about other stuff, but, you know, you guys can watch what I do here if you, uh, you know, or just listen to me ramble. Either way, or both. Damn, I don't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, a mortal hole. Yeah, man, those rage stacks, if he was able to get those, uh, just stack them easier and, you know, they somehow last longer or pause with some other method in addition to, man, I th yeah, he'd be insane. He would be so insane. That's why, uh, I don't know, that's why I'm still like Hulk, because he can do that big damage too. It's not secondary, but... You do that big damage, and you load them up with that. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you get like the Ragthor synergy, get immortality, and if you've got room, you bring uh, Heimdall. So you've got two. <laughs> you've got two indestructibles, and then you know you could even, in, you know, talking about war, you could even bring. Um, you can even use an indestructible but, uh, boost. So you've got three layers of indestructible. And in that time frame, if you've got science boost and you've got a max sig Hulk, um, I mean, if they're on a stun node, a, a node where you can stun them, I think that, you know, you're absolutely ruined. Um, but even if not, like, you could chain specials because those level twos at low life, those claps, man. Huge damage, huge. But he's so vanilla, like 
even with that, like he's got a lot of, you know, uh, it's all contingent on just criticals. There's no secondary damage. I think that like if they if they have physical resistance, like like you know, mini mini bosses, and I think the boss do physical resistance is gonna. I think it's gonna lower that damage a lot. Hulk's OG Hulk's damage from level two and all his damage really. But either way, he's still a still a nice tool to have. Um, just because uh, he's usable at high 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 sig. Uh, but mainly, you know, apart from that, like he's poison immune, he's got a little bit of utility with that. And uh, but he gives synergies to like a lot of chips that I really like and a lot of uh, and it works, you know. So having him at least usable in some scenarios is nice. And with that indestructible, it is nice. Like the Ragthor synergy. I don't like Ragthor. Meth Thor. I just don't like him. I mean, I don't know. There's not a lot of players that do. That I mean, that's my feeling anyway. I know there's Ragdoor players out there, and I know they do like them. And I and they, I just don't like his design. It is, you know, he's got good animations and stuff, but like he's all punched over and just like, yeah, not a fan. I mean, you know, you think he'd play like Black Widow plays, Black Widow Deadly Origin, where it's like she just shocks on basics, you know, easily. He doesn't, I mean, he does do that, but it takes ramp to get there, a level three, right? I mean, I think he's essentially the same since his rework, uh, or his update, if you will. Uh, uh, I think he's essentially the same as he was, just does more damage, and I think he's a little different. Uh, but not much, from what I can tell. I mean, I've used them in the arena, you know, briefly. Um, Cyclops with the beam. Yeah, Sorceress. So, yeah, I think this season, uh, Sorceress is, uh, really good. I've had her ranked two for a while. Um, you know, I, it was one of those where, like, I, I duped her twice. I think whatever featured she was in, uh, I duped her twice. I think I pulled her and duped her twice is what it was. So I actually pulled her three times. That's what it was. Um, and... You know, I had to I had to use missing resources because that T. I was looking for like a certain class of T5C, and uh, yeah. So I had to rank up a Mystic. She was it, and uh, yeah, she's really good. She's really good. I mean, I just mash buttons with her, um, but I mean, you can. She's good. You can keep a lot of uptime just mashing buttons. Uh, but that passive power gain is nice to have, you know, in some situations where you're like Hyper Hyperion, you know, similar, where you just can be patient and wait, and you don't have to, you know, you don't need combat power uh, rate, you know, you don't need to be able to hit them to gain power or take hits. Um, this is the last fight though, last run, you guys are still here, it's a long video. I just put them all together, I mean, I don't know if I just break these up, you know, I mean, it's four runs, like... I just figured just put it all in one, you know? Yeah, we hope just going to work, you know? But even, you know, with Miss Fantastic, I mean, it's all contingent on those Furies. Like, you need to start ramping those Furies. And, uh, if you lose that stack, it sucks. So coming back to what I was saying at the beginning of this video, I think I may, I, may, I, may, I may remove the two points that I have in Super 5. Like, I have them in there because like I said, like it's nice for the uh, for the stunners, you know, people that have stun at all. Like every champ, basically, but She-Hulk. And it is nice for her, but at the same time, the Furies, you know? Anyway, there's my rewards, guys. Um... Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.